the National Multiple Sclerosis Society um, is, is one that we, we added last year with, uh, with our poker tournament. And um, they continue to do a great job with raising funds and raising awareness for multiple sclerosis in, in uh, not only this community, but, but across the country. So thank you. Um, I guess now I'll open it up to questions uh, that any of you might have. Uh, am I doing this right, Dennis? Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you going to moderate this? Yes. I shall. All right. So I can just give you the high sign of whether I'm going to answer it or not? You good? Just kidding. Um, but before we start that, thank you all again for, for being here and uh, for promoting this event. It's, uh, it's a great way for my wife, Brittany, and I and our, our family uh, to stay closely connected with this community. Um, we have so many great memories from San Diego, and even though I'm playing for the New Orleans Saints and I'm very involved in that community, uh, I never forget where where it all started. And uh, so I'm looking around the room and see a lot of familiar faces, obviously people that uh, I worked closely with for many years while I was here, and um, hopefully we'll continue to work with as the years go on and as we continue to make this event bigger and better. So thank you all for being here again. Thank you. Cox for, for your support, uh, Channel 4, and we're just excited to, to get the tournament going here in May. Thanks. Who's first? Pick me. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Would there be a possibility that the children are able to volunteer at the tournament? That the children are able to volunteer? I do not see a problem with that at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's your guy to talk to right there. Right here. Absolutely. Right here. Now, you're wearing a black belt, so are you going to beat me up if I were to say that? <laughs> Drew, Drew can, can I just take this a moment? Sure. You've actually met her before. Um, I'm obviously a proud father, but Shannon McGuire is a, um, she has been doing community service since she's a little kid. She raised $2,000 for Martin Luther King Memorial Foundation back when she was five. You were kind enough, I, you don't remember, you. I did your team photo and shot with your mom. You were kind enough to reciprocate after the Dolphin loss on the field, and you and her have a photo with also the uh, star, uh, a fellow who was last year's character. She sponsors an event at her school called Character Speaks, okay. Study Role Models. So she was uh, looking for advice on, on uh, who might be a good character this year to uh, present at her school. Okay, uh -huh. I'll talk to you later. Right. Okay. Drew, uh, be remiss to maybe not uh, check in on what your situation is with the NFL. Uh, obviously, your golf game's probably going to improve over the next year, so <laughs> wondering where you're at. Right now. Yeah. Um, well, I knew that, that you guys as media would not be able to help yourself, <laughs> and you would be asking a lockout question. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just kind of make a, a uh, kind of a one-time answer to hopefully all your questions, and we'll be done with the lockout talk, and we can focus on the event. But um, obviously, we, we are locked out. Um, we're in a position where uh, none of us as players can even enter our facilities. Uh, we want to play football. We, we want to be back on the field. Um, we want the season to go on uninterrupted. Um, and obviously that's being threatened right now, so it's something that obviously we're all worried about. But, uh, you know, it's a process. And, um, you know, we've got, what, almost six months till the season starts. And so there'll be a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff happening here over the next few months. Um, the next big date is April 6th in Minnesota, um, that's the case that would uh, enjoin the lockout, which we're filing an injunction uh, against the lockout to hopefully get it blocked so that we can get back into our facilities again and start working out and start playing football because that's all we want as players. We just want to play football. This, this fight was brought to us, and so we are just um, we're in a position where we're just, we're just trying to get back on the field as quickly as possible. Drew, are you optimistic? Um, I said one question. <laughs> I know you said. No. I, I know you said one Here's question. The thing. No, I, I, I am, I am very optimistic. I am an eternal optimist. Um, so yeah, I absolutely believe that there is a settlement to be reached, and that settlement discussions will will take place here over the next few months. Um, and when I say settlement discussions, I'm talking about settlement discussions um, as part of this class action lawsuit, uh, antitrust lawsuit that we have as players against the NFL. Uh, for acting as a monopoly and, and restricting free trade and our ability to get back on the football field and play. All right, let's get questions, uh, questions about golf. Well, let's get That's back it. to the golf, all right? Mm -hmm. all right? You were at Purdue. When you were in the Big Ten and playing, did you ever in your wildest imaginations think that you would be volunteering or did you do it at Purdue? I mean, we know about Sean yeah. Merriman and what he did at Merriman. 
Maryland collecting coach and everything. Was was that a goal of yours? And 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 to see where it's come now with yeah. Katrina, with this, with ratings, with sure. YMCA. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was uh, I was involved in quite a few things in college. Um, from uh, we had a campaign with the uh, American Lung Association that was enjoy the breeze, don't smoke. So <laughs> that, was, that was it was supposed to be humorous, but it was also serious. I mean, that was that was something that I uh, felt strongly about, supported. Um, did uh, quite a few events for March of Dimes. The American Heart Association um, uh, was in charge of a program called Gentle Giants uh, that basically uh, had all of our, a lot of guys on our football team, the Purdue football team, go to local elementary schools and read to kids for one hour a week. Um, so I think um, really I stepped into a situation where as a freshman, I just had, it was great leadership. It, it, I went to a great school. Um, I had great mentors around me, coaches, um, older players, uh, friends that, uh, you know, they were all involved in, in those kind of things, and, and they helped me realize the importance of it and uh, allowed me the opportunity to, to, to engage in that. And then from there, it just became a passion of mine and something that I knew I always wanted to stay involved with um, because I know how much I've been blessed with in my life. And so the opportunity to be able to give back what's been given to me is, is something that I feel feel very strongly about. Bernie. Actually, it was, uh, Drew, do you mind if we go back to your day job? Uh, since you brought up April 6th, are you going to be in court that day? Since you are one of the uh, No. no. This is the, this is, that's the block, the, the lockout. That's the injunction. Uh, that's not the antitrust. Oh, okay. Drew, can you talk about the, uh, the field of players that uh, you're expecting to see here for this tournament? Sure, sure. Um, well, we're hoping to have 50 of the, the best celebrity golfers, uh, you know, around out here. Um, you're going to see, I think, a lot of the uh, familiar faces, you know, guys like Trent Dilfer, a former champion, uh, Billy Joe Tolliver, um, some fan favorites, Mike Ruzioni. Um, we'll uh, you know, try to get some new blood in here as well. Um, you know, some